Connor, Kidderminster tomorrow, but first an excellent win on Tuesday against York. Yeah, brilliant win. Um, obviously, to go a goal down, we were a little bit disappointed, but I thought the reaction was excellent. Um, and then second 45, I thought we were ruthless. Probably the most ruthless we've been all season in terms of taking our chances. Um, brilliant performance. Obviously, that's the standard we're setting ourselves. We've got to try maintain them as long as we can now. Obviously, after the performance on Saturday where we had loads of chances but couldn't necessarily take them, it was a great reaction to come in on York and then go and get four on the road. Yeah, definitely. I think we knew Halifax was going to be tough. Obviously, they were. Um, good team, really well organised. They don't give up a lot of goals, so not a bad point. When you look at the chances, maybe we could have won it. We probably should have deserved to win it, but yeah. And then, obviously, we asked for a reaction on Tuesday to go and get three points, and we managed to do that. As you said, four goals away from home was always a massive positive. Someone who came into the team on Tuesday was Reese Hall-Johnson. An excellent performance by him. He's brilliant, and he? he's excellent. He's athletic. He wants to go and hurt the opposition with his runs forward. Um, to be fair, he, he does want to score a lot of goals. You can see with his movements, and obviously, thankfully, he's got his first now, and hopefully, long may that continue, he gets a few more. And uh, someone else who made the first start of the season was Callum Stead. How do you feel he got on? He was excellent. He was um, buzzing about the pitch all day long. He was. He, um, we know he's going to work his socks off. He had a little bit of quality to his game, which helps. Um, I thought he pressed brilliantly. As I said, worked hard. Just excellent performance. I'm pleased for him. He's, um, He's never stopped working out in training, which is the main thing. Obviously, he got his chance, and to be fair to him, he's done brilliant. So, um, fair play to Callum, he was excellent. Next up is Kidderminster. Earlier in the season, we had a situation where we went to Dagenham, where they were sort of bottom of the table, and obviously we didn't get the result we wanted. We've got the same sort of situation coming up this weekend. Does that change your preparations at all because of that experience, or is it just the same as usual? Uh, well, to be honest, when we went to Dagenham, it was early in the season, so I don't re league position didn't really mean much at the time. We knew Strave was a good manager, and we knew Dagenham wouldn't be down there for long, and obviously they put a run together, so that was no surprise. I think that was a, that was a false position they were in. And to be honest, we've watched Kidderminster, and they, they should be six, seven points minimum higher than what they are. Um, their performances have been good. They've been in a lot of games. They've been very unfortunate. They're, an ex they're excellent what they do, work really hard, tough to break down, don't give a lot of chances away, especially at home. So we know how tough it's going to be. They're, um, as I said, they probably are six, seven points worse off than what they probably deserve to be on their performances. Um, they obviously conceded late on Tuesday night, probably didn't deserve to concede. So they'll be asking for more of the same from them. I know, obviously, as you see, the position of the table, sometimes it's not really the case when you look at performances when you watch them back. So they've had three nil nils at home and obviously been beat by one by Solihull and one by Oldham at home. So we know it's a tough place to go. So... We can't underestimate anyone, especially these, who I think, as I said, they're, they're a little bit worse off than what they deserve to be. And finally, is there any update to the team? Uh, same group that he went to Tuesday night with. Uh, Coke's obviously still a little bit tightness in his hammy, so probably too soon for him tomorrow. But everyone else, same group, we'll be running with tomorrow. Connor, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Cheers.